welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to design the bookroom screen so when we select the date in our uh, deployed version so it will give the availability of the room so here i am selecting 12th june to 15th june so these rooms are available on this slot so if the date is satisfied with these rooms it will give the book now button so if any room is booked in this slot it will hide the rooms so now after getting this uh, book now button we can click on this so if you click on this book now button it will take us to the book room screen yeah here you can see this is the booking room description so in this booking room description also we are having the same details so with some extra fields so this is the uh, room name and this is the major image that means the image urls index zero so we are going to display the first image from that image urls array so at the right side we are having the booking details so here you can see name is equal to the logged in username so as of now we haven't implemented the authentication so in the next section we are going to implement authentication so this is the from date which we have selected from the date range in the home screen and this is the to date here you can see 12th june 2021 to uh, 15th june 2021 and this room max count is equal to three that means only up to three numbers are allowed so these are the uh, rent details so there are four days selected 12 13 14 15 so the check-in date is equal to uh, 12th and checkout date is equal to 15 so there are total four days so total four days is equal total days is equal to four and rent per day is equal to 1500 and here total amount is equal to 1500 is, is equal into four is equal to 6000 so this is the booking screen design so we just need to send the booking id as our url parameter to this uh booking screen so later we will discuss about this from date and to date so it, we are going to make a separate section about this only dates filtering so as of now you have to send only one parameter that is room id so we are going to send the room id to this root and with the help of that root we are again fetching the details of the uh room id with the help of this so now let's go back to the home screen here you can see so as of now we haven't implemented this filter section in our developing component our developing application so later we are going to do that so first of all when we click on the uh, book now button we have to navigate into the booking screen and in that booking screen we have to show the details of our selected room with the book now button so first of all i am going to add the book now button here so later we have to hide that book now button based on the date range availability so as of now we haven't implemented the date range things so that's the reason keep it as it is so later we can do that so in the room component so room.js there it is yeah here you can see so here uh, div style is equal to float right so beside of these uh, view details button we have to create that book now button so you can use the anchor tag or you can use the link tag from the uh, react router dom to navigate with the help of buttons so i'm going to use the link link so in this link i'm going to keep the button button is equal to book now and i will apply the class name as class name is equal to btn btn primary and here you can see link is not defined let me import the link at the top import link from react router dom it's not importing automatically let me import it manually import link from react router dom control s now i'm going to create my second screen that is called as the booking screen booking screen dot js or you can name this screen as the room description also so in that page only we are keeping the book now final book now or pay now button that's the reason i have named this as booking screen so in this also i'm going to send rfce h1 booking screen that's it and in the app.js i'm going to add the root for that root yeah now i'm going to add path is equal to slash book slash colons room id 
so this is the url parameter so we are going to pass the url parameter from the home screen and in the we have to receive it in the booking screen so it's very simple it is a small react router dom concepts passing url parameters exact component is equal to booking screen bookings screen not bookings it just booking remove the s here also remove the s and here also i will change remove s yes. remove s yes. and remove the file name also we have to keep only one s yeah <laughs> booking uh, at that uh, home screen yeah, app dot js also we have to change control s yeah now it's working fine and now i am going to pass the room id as our parameter url parameter to this booking screen so here you can see link so in this link i am going to write to is equal to so it should navigate to the book route so here i am using back ticks so i can easily uh, directly inject this uh, room id slash uh, dollar room dot underscore id so mongodb id will be denoted by this format underscore id so here after getting the id i want to print that room id in one h1 text h1 room id is equal to so here we have to pass the match to receive the url parameters and here i am going to write match dot params dot room id match dot params dot room id control s so now it should work let's check refresh the page so i will apply the margin here for the two buttons <laughs> Mm, mr2 margin right 2 uh, it's not getting applied so this is the hell with bootstrap m2 yeah now it's applied and now i will click on the book now button so it will show the idea of this uh, capital o room in our booking screen book now here you can see room id is equal to this so we are successfully getting the room id to the booking screen now i am going to call the api to receive only the details of this room what we have selected we are using this id so it's very simple so in this booking screen also you have to perform the use effect hook and we have to perform the api request to get only one room based on the id so it's very simple task first of all i am going to import use state and use effect use state and use effect here i am going to write use effect hook so already we have written everything in the home screen so i am going little bit fast so in the use effect hook i am going to perform the api operation first of all i will require axios and in the use effect i will write try catch that's it so first of all let's copy the uh, error and uh, loading uh, states already we have implemented here error and loading states and keep it here booking screen if anything goes wrong we have to use that and we i will create one more thing const room we have to get the uh, room object from the back end room set room after the processing of api request we will get the room and we are going to update this room state by using that use state initially it is empty and here i am going to perform so first of all keep this use effect function as async because we are going to use the await keywords uh, let's copy the uh, axios function from the home screen only so i don't want to waste time so copy this paste it here so when the api request is started set loading is equal to true 
const data is equal to await axios dot get so here it is not get it is post because we are sending the room id to the backend slash api slash rooms slash get room by id so i am going to change the url get room by id that's it so after getting the response instead of set rooms you have to write set room because we are getting only one object and here set loading is equal to false that's it and in the catch function i am going to write first of all set loading is equal to false and set error is equal to true set error is equal to true control s so our front end part is completed now let's go to the back end and implement this uh, get room by id api endpoint so click on the roots click on rooms root so copy this root and paste it here so first of all we have to change the type of method it is post method because we are receiving the room id from the front end so change the api endpoint get all rooms instead of get room by id and uh, so here we are receiving the parameters from the body so there's a reason in the server.js you have to write app.use express.json so because we are we have to receive the parameters from the body only app.use express.json that's it so if you do not write this statement you cannot receive the parameters this is mandatory and here i am going to write const room id is equal to request dot body dot room id and here we have to write the condition await room dot find one or find one by id so when find one is enough so here we have to write the parameter and we are searching the id with the help of room id so here also make it room not rooms because we are sending only one room so if there is any error you just need to send the error only control s uh, i think back end part is also completed now let's go to the front end and uh, send this room id with this name only you have to send this name only room id yeah where it is yeah this is the post method and we are going to send the parameter as room id with value match dot params dot room id that's it control s so now our api endpoint is success and we are also sending the correct data from the front end so it should bring the details of the complete room details with the help of id so let's refresh the page let's open console to check if we have any errors so we don't have any errors let's go to the network now let's again refresh the page get room by id request is success here you can see we got the complete details of the room you can check the id here so it is ending with ea07 here also ea07 so with the help of this id we have performed api request api request to get room by id and it is successful that's the reason it sent the details of this room so in the next lecture we are going to start the design of this component so let me show you that mm, select any from date book now yeah so we are going to design this component thank you